everybody, what the rolling it down the last episode of our 1939 Yugoslavian conquest. So as always, there will be a vote of boing. Starting out at round 58. Now when we had left off, I had taken all my tank generals and threw them down on some armored cars. Just to switch it up. I caught a lot of flack for this, but trust me, bros, you must not understand the sheer power of the armored car. The armored car is single-handedly going to wreck the entirety of the Japanese nation and all their territory that they have seized from the Chinese and the Russians. You gotta trust me. I'm privy to information that you might not know about the badass armored car. And instead of bombing the shit out of Africa, I just decided to do it the old fashioned way. With some paratroop spam. Alright, where are we? Okay, there we are. We're just about to the front. And then I'm just going to unleash devastation. Little do the Japanese know what hell is approaching from the West. A boom! Finland's out of there. They're thinking, okay, you know, we know how the West operates. They're going to send some tanks over here. We'll be fine. We got some anti-tank weapons. But no, not this time around. Armored frickin' cars, bro. It's just too fast to, um... Be able to target with the anti-tank weapons that they've set up. My generals will make it. They will not fail. I won't have to call in any backup. Victory is certain. And why is Rommel so damn slow? Rokoskovsky is catching up with him. I just feel like parachute spam is needed in this episode. Sometimes I feel like spam, sometimes I feel like missiles. Miss drop. Remember bros, it happens. Happened on D-Day. I'm kind of waiting for at least Guderian to catch up. Next round, the, the official attack will begin. Uh, hold on. Italy should be... Oh, no. 
I forgot about Palermo. Uh, I'm bringing up the fist. A boom! Italy's out of there. All right, watch this utter destruction. A boom! Eight, what? A hundred and four and ninety-five, and you guys questioned. You guys questioned me on the use of the armored car. Like I didn't know what I was doing. Shit, that's as much as a tank would have done. Plus, like I like I said, like you can put four or five hot Asian women in an armored car. In a tank with the five crew and everything, or four or five crew, a boom! Spain's out of there. You can't fit that many hot Asian women in. I'm telling you, the armored car is the way to go. Is it going to show us the French again every time in between rounds? Is that what I'm getting? Yeah, now what's up? You got three armored cars on you. Four! I think at this point, Japan is contemplating capitulation. They were not prepared for what I... They were not prepared for the fury that I unleashed on them. And just like that, what's up? I got Peking. Yeah, it is show Why? <laughs> it's showing us the French again. All right, French, what are you going to do? I'm pretty interested in your tactics at this point in the conquest. And just like that. Armored cars. Oh, what? You brought in some artillery? Uh, you think Rokoskovsky and his armored car gives a shit about your artillery? I did. I did, bros. I forgot about Nimitz. It just hit me. I was like, hold on. I thought I had somebody else. Now the question is, as we watch the French move an infantry one tile at a time northward, will Nimitz get there in time to throw down some damage? Why did I move them both over there? That's a good question. Look at that! Striking fear in the Japanese. You didn't need to drop a nuke. You just needed about five tier three armored cars. Okay, I want to send them at Japan, so I'm going to go ahead and use some air power to take out these most northern cities here real quick. And of course we got a bunch of Soviets surrounding a Japanese artillery artillery general and some type of circle jerk in Siberia. I don't know. It doesn't 
it doesn't quite make sense to me. But I'm okay with it. Oh, damn! What up? Threw down another infantry unit. Tell you what. Oh, look who it is. Frickin' Lin B. Which... I... Why are they all the way back off the front is kind of what I'm left wondering. Oh, what? A third infantry unit? France must be rolling in the dough. Yo, what's up, Lin B? How you doing? Why, why are you guys not fighting? You guys are literally like two, I would say two rounds off the front. Well, three now. I don't know, Lin B's pretty slow. He's probably like five rounds off the front. Damn, US took Tokyo out. Oh, what? Why are they just making a long line of infantry? What possible sense does that make? And sending them directly north, like... You would think they'd be sending them east. Like, where the last enemy is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Okay, seriously, what are they doing? And why does it... We're left, like, in the same predicament we were in the other episode where I was asking these same questions. Why do you keep showing me the French, and what the hell are the French doing? Oh, they've, they've given up Africa, I guess. They're, they're starting to spam out of Damascus. Nimitz is going to take out Taipei. Uh, I think Sapporo is probably gone by the time I get there. Remember, there were those of you in the comments that questioned the sanity of the armored car deployment. Now you witness the absolute hell armored cars can bring to a battlefield. Mm-hmm. I... I don't know, it has a thing for the French, kind of. It just keeps... Every time it cuts away, it's on a French unit. Is it always like that? Does it always show the French? I guess I really haven't paid that much attention. Sorry, Nimitz, you're slow as shit. I got things I want to get done. Alright, we've now got... Okay, yeah, uh-huh. Move that guy directly north. He will definitely get to Japan the quickest heading due north. De Gaulle must be in charge. All right, so we've got what? Just two? Yep, two ports, it appears like. Uh, that Japanese sub is screwed. Yep, peace. Oh, boom! Didn't even have to do shit. Got the S. 76 rounds. And of course, now...
We gotta look what countries have the most requests for the next vote. All right, the leader is now Finland, 1939. There is actually, um, actually the next up is USA, and then there is a three-way tie for the third most request. That includes India, 1939, Finland, 1943. Okay, for you bros that want Finland so bad, you gotta be able to win this one. You got two votes out of five. And then, what else was there? Uh, Japan, 1950. There you have it, bros. Wrapping this up. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap this shit down the like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Bruminati, out.